Hey guys, Chris Ashley, Passion for the Wild and Wonderful. Thanks for joining me. What I'm going to be doing this time is uh, just some maintenance work on a utility trailer. And what I'm going to be doing is cleaning the deck boards, uh, treating them, uh, also power washing the whole trailer, trying to clean any of the rust areas and painting them, uh, do some other general maintenance on it if I see anything, and replacing the jack. So stick with me. So guys, what I started doing so far is just power washing the trailer. And I got an electric power washer here, 2300 PSI. Just started cleaning the deck boards and then power washing the frame. So I'll show you what that looks like so far and just show you uh, the rust I'm looking at that I'm gonna be working on around the frame system is really just superficial rust where just uh, paint has flaked off and uh, the bare metal started rusting. So right here is uh, just as you can see what the trailer boards kind of looked like before and what it looks like after uh, doing some of the power washing. And then you can see just some of the rust areas that we're gonna be working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish power washing and then we'll uh, go from there. All right guys, just to bring you up to speed. So what I've done is uh, I, after power washing, I let it dry out. And then I've went through uh, with a hand wire brush and wire brushed uh, everywhere where I saw that there was loose or chipped paint, there was corrosion. Try to get it back down to bare metal, chip off the paint if I can, um, get it exposed back to where there's a good uh, bonding area of paint and clean and, and um, wire brush all that. And then I've been going along now and I use kind of like a reformer, a Rust-Oleum base primer, and then going over it with like a semi-gloss uh, black spray paint over it. And I'll just show you what it's kind of looking like so far. I've got about the front end uh, done and then I got to move on the rest of the way to the back. So you can see I've kind of been doing the fender here and the framing through and the tongue system. And then as you can see, I've got uh, from the way back here, the fender wells and stuff to go. And so that's what I'll do next. And then I'll just show you here real quick, just for a frame of reference, I'll show you what this fender well looks like before and after. So here's again before. And then we'll take again a look here after. All right guys, so we, uh, we went ahead and got all the paint done here, uh, at least on uh, the top part of the trailer. Uh, at some part, uh, point here, I'll take the wheels off, do the inner fender wells, and I'll do underneath the trailer. But I'll just show you what it looks like now and see the difference. So here's kinda looking through that frame system and looking at these inner fenders and the gate. So next, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, um, I got some Valspar uh, one coat exterior sealer clear, which, you know, the, the darker or the tinted and the heavier you get, the longer lasting. This is supposed to be a three year guarantee. But anyways, I just wanna give it some treatment. And we'll put that on now. And you see what it looks like here. I'll show you what it looks like after. Well guys, one of the things that I said I wanna do is to go ahead and replace the jack on the front of this. So. I ended up just going down to Tractor Supply and got this tough and trusted Bulldog top wind A-frame, 5,000 pound lift capacity, 15 inch travel and it's welder bolt on. And what you'll see here is mine already the, from, the, from the trailer, from the manufacturer or the factory is just a bolt on, a little three, three bolt one. And so what we'll do is we'll remove those three bolts and slap this one on and then I'll put that bottom plate that's uh, on this one now, I'll put it over onto the bottom of this one. So stick with me, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So one of the things I wanted to explain a little bit here on what I end up doing to change out this jack. Um, like I said, this is the Bulldog um, replacement jack that I got in place of the factory one for this trailer. But all you end up gonna have to do is just take a 9 16 inch socket. And all I did is prop the tongue up on a, a log or a jack stand, let's say. Uh, something secure and then chalk the tires. And then um, using 9 16 inch, I just took out uh, the three bolts. And then what I did is made sure that the threads were clean and I painted that surface uh, when I was painting the tongue and the rest of the frame. And then I just took some lubricant um, and after I wire brushed and cleaned up the threads on the bolts and made sure the interior was clean, I put a little bit of lubricant on the, the threads, put in the new jack, tighten them up to where they are good and snug. Again, just reusing the existing bolts fit right in. And then my plan is, which you know I wasn't diligent about with the previous jack, 
is making sure that when I don't have this in service or if I'm somewhere where uh, it's gonna be sitting for a while, to make sure and cover it with like a bucket to make sure that I don't get water down in the assembly. Well guys, worked all day and uh, got what I'm gonna do with the trailer done. Turned out pretty darn good. Looks, uh, looks almost like a brand new trailer. I'll show you here. So we, um, we power washed it all yesterday and that was the deck boards, the frame, everything. And then I started uh, wire brushing all the frame system and stuff once it dried. And then today I went ahead and did more wire brushing, painted all the framework, uh, put on the new jack, and then I also sealed all the deck boards. So take a look. So the deck uh, just finished, um, I say stain, but sealing it. And so it's still got to soak in and dry. It's just a clear, so it'll eventually soak in and clear up some. And then we got the new jack put on. And as I said, that's the A-frame 5,000 pound. It's nice and smooth. And then uh, you can see here where I came through and did all of the trailer to where it uh, practically looks new. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, again, thanks for joining me here for Passion for the Wild and Wonderful. I'm Chris Ashley. We'll see you on the next video.